Okay, so uh, what we're going to do first is going to show you and uh, we're going to be very basically how to set up a, a new appointment and I'm going to show you how to set up the case um, with a client agreement ready to go to a client. So it's going to be a very quick and easy way to set your client up in the system and, uh, and also add in your client agreement ready for you to send that to the client. So how we do it, we're logged into Lifecycle and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Add Opportunity. So I can do the, uh, I can select the button here under Add Opportunity there, or under Opportunity Management at the top there, you've got the same button, I can add it there. The other way to do it, the third way to add an opportunity is to do it in your diary view. So I can scroll down to the time in my diary, I can look at maybe it's today at one o'clock, and I can double click on one o'clock, and I can add the appointment whilst also adding the opportunity here as well. Let's go for the most basic way first. So I'm back on my home tab. I'm now going to go to add opportunity. It brings up the, the boxes to search the client name. First thing I'm going to do is, is put the first name and surname in of this client. So if I'm going to go for Barry Bobby as my client name and press next. All it's doing now is it's trying to find that client within my database. Now, likelihood is, if I'm just starting out, I won't have, um, on this system, I won't have many uh, clients in there at the moment, so it's unlikely we're going to find a match, and that's what's happened here, is I haven't got a match, so therefore the screen is blank. I can then tick the box saying no match found, and create a new client, and press next. Now the system wants me just to fill in some gaps, so I can complete now the title uh, of the client, so I can go for Mr. Barry Bobs and female or male. Put the address in. So what I can do there, if I just put a number in the first line and then put the postcode in, in the bottom, and if I press find address, the rest of it will come through for me. There it is. And press OK. And then I can fill in the contact details. Now what I need to make sure I do, if I want to use the client portal with this customer, then I do need to make sure that I have a mobile number and an email address in the system. So I'm going to put in a mobile number and I'm going to put in an email address. At this stage, if I want to add in a second applicant, then I can go to the plus button and I can add in another person. I can also add in a third person, fourth, fifth, sixth. At this point, I'm going to leave it as one. I just delete back if I've made a mistake. Uh, and of course, we can add in a second applicant, etc. later on in the process. It's not a necessity to do it at this point. Press next again. You now need to confirm where the source of the lead came from. So under the drop down box, I can select the correct uh, lead source. For example, it's a mortgage review. If the client was referred to you by another advisor, their name would appear here so you know who it's come from. And then the reference box is a bit of free text, you can put in what you want. Press next, and it now leaves you notes page. This is your initial notes that you'll make on this client. So it might be that the client has given you a call, so Barry might have called me, and he might have just discussed a few things about his current situation, um, and maybe we've arranged, we're going to arrange to meet in a couple of days' time. This just allows me to remember what we spoke about on the phone, um, or in the setup to the meeting. If I want to put notes in, I can. If I'm happy with the uh, with the, the setup, I can press finish. And what happens now is the client will appear in the bottom half of the page in my hot box, which is also the same as my prospect list. So if we can see where he is, he's at the top there. There he is, Bobby there, Barry Bobby. And what I can do is if I... Uh, want to now set up this customer so that I can put a client agreement ready to go to send to them. What I'm going to do now is right click the client and at the top of the uh, box options I can press view the case with the binoculars. What that does is it brings the client up into my diary view so it will replace the diary at the top here and I'll be able to see a bigger picture of this customer. If I want to make a bit more room on the screen all I need to do is um, 
auto hide my hotbox. There's a little pin button there. What it does is I press that, it just replaces the screen fully with the case record. I want to get my prospect list back again. In the bottom left hand side of the screen, it's in the bottom there. I can just hover over it and bring it back in. So here I am with Barry Bobby on his case record. At the moment with Barry, we can see that there's not um, nothing in there at the moment because we've just put them in. All I've got is his name and address and a mobile number and email. What I want to do though is send over a client agreement and maybe even ask him to complete a fact find to start with. So under the case ID at the top here, what I'm going to do is click on that button under the briefcase and I'm going to go to the documents on the case and in there I'm going to add in a client agreement for the send to this customer. So I'm going to add it here and what it is, does that is it will um, bring up my local um, desktop and computer and likelihood is you, you want to make yourself a, a secure folder somewhere in your your local desktop for each client where you can sort of collate any documentation that you scan in or need to send to them that's not going to be through the research system so let's say I'm going to send over my client agreement well here's one I've got from another broker I use as an example so I've got my client agreement ready I've now put that onto the attached that to the case and what I can do now is given that I put that in I can now go to the client portal which is one below and I can create an action and what, under the actions what I'm going to do is I'm going to send them a uh, the client agreement to, to review and also I'm going to send the client the fact finds to complete as well for me so you have to tell the system what items do the actions relate to so this relates to that mortgage review opportunity that I've put in so I'm going to say it's to do with that so it links it to the correct um, opportunity I'm going to press next and then I can select the the items and actions that I would like to send to the customer. So on the training database I have here, I've got a limited amount of actions available uh, just for training purposes. On the live system, I'm adding quite a few at, at the moment. And uh, again, if you have anything you would like me to add, please send me over the uh, what you're looking for, and I'll look and see if I can do it for you. So I'm going to put in the client agreement, press the middle button, and it goes over to the actions to send. Likewise, I'm going to get the complete, complete the fact find button and send that over as well. So I'm going to do two actions in one. Press next. It now asks to set a file to send to the client. Because I've already put the client agreement on the case record, it's automatically chosen that as the only option. Uh, but if you had more than one document, you can then drop down the list and choose the one that is uh, relevant. The required by always defaults to seven days and I can keep it at that if I want to. That gives them seven days to complete the, uh, the tasks for me and if the client doesn't do, doesn't do those tasks, they'll be reminded within the seven day period. I press next and I can create, I can also add in additional instructions at this stage as well. If I'm happy with the actions, I press send now and then what we'll see is the, uh, the portal invite will be sent to the client along with those actions one, to send, to download and acknowledge the client agreement that I've sent to them and two, to, uh, to hopefully go in and complete the, uh, the fact find. And we can see all those actions are now uh, updated in the fields below the portal uh, buttons. If I want to send them a message as well, I can send a message to them at this point and maybe personalize the, uh, what I've done and I can say whatever I want. Whatever I send in this message will be sent to them securely, so you can be rest assured that any sensitive information you, you put into a message like this will be safe, or the safest way to do it, and the client will be able to securely re respond back to you. Now, to get updates back from your customers, to know if they've done things for you without having to check manually every time, there's two ways for that to happen. On the top right system here, when you log in, you've got your finance updates, your My Finance Center updates, that links to the portal. That will give you all of your updates and show you where to go and where they are. Um, but also, you're going to be emailed every morning of any updates that have happened overnight as well. So the system will email you and drop you a, a message to, to tell you that there's been an, an update in, your, in for you to check. 
Okay, so that's the recording for today over. Um, thank you for listening. If you're listening to this again, this will be, um, but now we're going to move on with the surgery. So.